hello, I'm a supermodel. What's going on? Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Welcome back to Northern Michigan. Welcome to Land of Tractors and All Things Noisy because you guys, oh, the world is testing me today. <laughs> okay, I'm so irritated. Um, I sat down to film this and I specifically got up like extra early. You know, you can see by the shadowing there, there's just a different time than I normally would film. And I get up extra early on purpose so that way I can try to avoid all the sights and sounds of Northern Michigan. And even though I tried to take all of these precautions, <laughs> here we sit um, with me listening to the tractors and the banging and, and whatever is going on outside. So um, if you can hear all of that, I apologize. It might be a little distracting. I'll try to edit around it if I can, but I just want to let you guys know if you hear like a really weird that that's just, you know, it's just the welcome to Northern Michigan. Okay. That's just how we get down out in the fields where you would think you, you would think it's quiet, but oh, it is not bitch. It is not quiet. It is so loud. Anyways, you guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome to a first impression and a wear test on this JCAT Skin Insurance Max Coverage Silky Foundation. I recently picked this up over on Ulta and it retails for $14.99, so it is a lower, like, more drugstore option. But uh, the reason I wanted to check this out and what I thought was kind of interesting is that this foundation, uh, like, I thought it was a newer launch on Ulta because, you know, that, that's where it was. I've never seen it before. And, I mean, truthfully, you guys know I'm kind of a bloodhound when it comes to all things new foundation. I just love testing them. And so when it's a foundation I've never seen before, I'm like, oh, you know, it, it's got to be kind of new. Then when I went and did a little investigation on it, I found that a couple of people have already done reviews on this, but there really weren't a ton of reviews on it. And so what I'm wondering is maybe back then they had either a soft launch or they launched it just on their website and now maybe with like the pandemic and everything going on maybe it's just now making its way to Ulta. Either way you guys we're gonna test it out because it's a newer foundation and I'm excited. I love testing foundations. Y'all know it's just it's kind of what I do. So we're gonna go ahead um, get into this here in just a second but before we do that okay before we do that you guys know the drill. I'm gonna give a little mini self promo self plug for yours truly. So if you are new here you don't know who I am you've never seen me. Hello my name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. Um, I do put up three new videos a week. Again, if you're new here, they go up usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. My time here in good old northern Michigan. Again, <laughs> land of the cornfields. Um, so if you want to stick around, subscribe, turn your post notifications. And of course, my main plug and piece of promo, if you haven't done so yet, please, please, please go down into the description box and follow me over on Instagram. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers. That way I can get the swipe up feature. For those of you that don't follow me over there, you want to know maybe what you're going to get. Um, I really love to hang out in my Insta stories. I like to do unboxings. I like to do all of that. And actually everything else, I just went through a huge unboxing over there. Everything else that I got in this Ulta order, I went through and swatched lipsticks and talked about concealers and eyeliners and just a bunch of stuff that I picked up. And uh, that's the kind of stuff that I love to do over there. I'd love to just, you know, hang out real life. We sit down, we hang in my office. Sometimes I answer random questions. I do weird filter things on my face. Sometimes I unbox. It's really, you know, you never really know what you're going to get, but either way, that's where I do all of it is again over on Instagram. And then down in the feed of Instagram, I like to hang out and do like makeup IGTVs, makeup looks, um, plus size fashion, that sort of thing. So there really is, you know, a lot to cover. There's a lot going on. Again, if you'd like a little bit more of me just outside of the wonderful world of YouTube here, please go down into the description box. Check me out on Instagram and on Twitter, but mainly Instagram. And uh, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. With that, you guys, let's go ahead, zoom the camera in, and let's get started. And there's a tractor. Oh, yes, the sweet sounds of Northern Michigan. <gasps> oh, the Midwest is calling and she calls with diesel engines and John Deere's. All right, you guys, so we're good and zoomed in, and I did go ahead and prime my skin just with a little bit of my usual, the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, just so that way that can start, you know, getting settled and soaked into the skin. And I figured while we were doing that, we would go ahead and read up a little bit on this foundation here. Again, it is available on Ulta, retailing for $14.99. And this is available in 16 shades. It's not a very good shade range. And then something I actually really enjoy about the presentation here is that the box itself actually details all of the same claims, and it gives you all the information as the website, which I, I, I just think that that's really handy because when you're in the store like this is the kind of information that you want to know and I feel like a lot of times brands just don't include like all of the good things on the packaging but it says here for key ingredients that it has tea tree leaf extract for reducing scarring and clearing up smoothing the skin it has hyaluronic acid obviously for that moisturizing effect and to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles it has panthenol to improve skin hydration and then a hydrolyzed collagen to reverse skin aging and promote a glowy vibrant skin which I think is quite fantastic just on the back, a couple of the claims that it makes. It says that it is a weightless, buildable liquid.
liquid foundation that contains key ingredients to help plump the skin while blurring out any imperfections. This long-lasting foundation delivers luminous, natural glow, leaving the skin feeling silky and smooth. Ooh, yes, honey. God, that doesn't that just sound damn nice? Oh my God. Okay, and then in terms of packaging, you just have these two little plastic components. It's not like overly luxurious, but you do still get one full fluid ounce, which is good. It's a standard amount of product. This, in terms of the component, I actually really like because it's the kind where the uh, the pump, as you pump it out, it actually squeezes the foundation from the bottom up. And that's really good in terms of um, not only the product, like it keeps it fresh because air doesn't enter, but it also helps get, you know, all of the product because it scrapes the sides as you go, which I just think is kind of a nice little thing. And then in terms of shades, I did pick up two. I have soft beige and custard uh, because again, the, the shade range wasn't that great. So I couldn't really tell what I was looking at here. Oh, wow. This one is soft beige and that one is very light. Okay. Um, and then again, this one is custard. Let's take a little look. See, this one will probably be the winner. Oh, wow. This one, <laughs> that one's kind of light too. Um, yeah, definitely going to go with custard. I think it's going to match a lot better. It's still a little bit light, but I can make it work. And then just for application here, I'm pumping it out onto my Kaleido sponge and we can kind of start spreading from there. But like, let's be hypercritical for just one second. Is this max coverage? Like, holy wow, max full coverage? No, because when I first, and don't get me wrong, it might be buildable, but like right through here, I have a little bit of redness on my cheek. I mean, for the most part, my face is pretty clear, but I do have a little bit of scarring just in this area, and it's not like 100% covered, but I do feel like if it says max coverage on the box, like I have to be, you know, a little bit more, um, a little bit more pushy in that realm, because I mean, you, you said it, not me, okay, bitch? I didn't say you were max coverage. You're the one that made that claim, honey. I'm doing both sides with a sponge because the texture of this is a little bit heavier and it's a little bit sticky. But if I try to apply this kind of consistency with a sponge, it's just not going to look good. So <laughs> I would rather just skip that altogether and uh, just go straight with the sponge because it's actually pressing in really nicely with a sponge. I kind of, I kind of dig it. Oh, oh, another tractor. Aww. It's just a little guy. All right, you guys, let's zoom this in just to freckle so we can all kind of see what's going on. Um, let's go ahead. Actually, you know what? Let's pause really quickly. I want to see if I can build up a little coverage here. I'm just taking a tiny little dot and let's start. You know what? Let's go over this little cheek. We've got a little redness right here. We could try to cover that. Oh, somebody's talking outside. What's going on? Anybody watching this that's a Midwesterner, you can just, you know, back me up in the comments when I say it is not weird for men that are just driving tractors down the road to just get out and talk to each other. Like, that's, that's not a weird thing. All right, so for coverage, I did go through and try to build up a little here and just, I played around with it a little bit. And I don't think the coverage is bad. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a decent, like, medium to high medium coverage. But I don't think that this is like, wow, holy shit, like intense max coverage. I don't think it's anything, you know, like that insane. But I do think it looks really pretty it has a nice amount of coverage. Like I'm not mad at it, but again, the box says max coverage and I do have other foundations that have more coverage than this faster. So just, you know, something to put out there. All right, you guys. So while the tractors were making all their noise outside, I did go ahead and add some concealer just to kind of keep the process moving here. And that was the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer in the shade number one. While I was getting that blended out, I could really feel like the texture and kind of the stickiness and the weight of this foundation. And it's definitely, I mean, that that's definitely not my favorite. I don't love it when the foundation has like a heavier or a thick kind of cakey feeling on the skin. And with this one, like I was trying to get it closer to the mic so you guys could hear it, but it does carry like this almost thicker tacky kind of sense. And a lot of times what I notice with a foundation like this, um, again, this is just my experience. I've tested a ton of foundations, but when they are a little bit thicker like this, I notice that they settle out into my like fine lines, my wrinkles, this sort of stuff. And I'm not saying that this one will. I'm just saying it is something I've experienced. It could be something that we're looking at going forward. In terms of everything blending, it did go fine. I'm not having any issues between the foundation or the concealer. Everything is going well. From here, let's go ahead. Like I said, we're going to move on to powder. And I think because this is a more um, dense kind of powder, I am going to go in with my Fenty um, powder here. This is their loose pro filter powder in the shade Butter. And with those areas set down just under the eyes and through the T-zone there, I am going to go ahead, pause really quick and do a little bit of a touch test. I like to do this just for those of you that do have more like normal leaning dry, combo leaning dry. Um, that way, you know, you know, just in terms of like the tackiness and how this sets down and you know what? Holy hell guys, this actually sets down 
like a lot. Like I'm getting very little transfer. Let me see. This is a clean finger, nothing on it. I'm tapping only the area where I have not set anything. There's no powder. There is like no transfer on my finger at all. Like that's kind that's actually kind of bizarre. But I think because it's settling down so well on its own, I definitely don't want to like over powder these areas and really cake them up. So I'm going to go in instead with my Hourglass Ambient Ethereal Lighting right here. It's like a very soft finishing powder. And I'm just going to use this to lightly set everything and really buff in, you know, buff into the pores, make sure it looks smooth and everything is set. And then also remove all of the uh, powder if there's anything left over and just make sure everything is lightly buffed into the skin. All right, so at this point, everything is nice and set. Now I'm going to run off of camera, do the rest of my face, but I just want you guys to see um, how everything is coming together at this stage. And I think, I definitely think that the, the finishing powder was the right choice because it is like starting to feel a little bit heavier. And I think a heavier powder would have definitely, you know, intensified that a little bit. I'm really hoping with this one that as I go through with the rest of the products, everything will kind of soak together and just really press in because it is looking really pretty. But again, it just has a slight like heaviness to it. And we're, we're definitely going to, you know, see how that goes. I'll keep you guys posted. But uh, for now, it looks good. I'm going to run off of camera, do the rest of my face and I will be right back. And all right, beautiful people, I am back. The rest of my face is on. I did a very light makeup look today, obviously. And I want to go ahead and start off by putting up the up close. So I'll go ahead and get that up for you guys. But uh, I think like in terms of how everything looks, I think it looks pretty good. Um, my main concern so far with this foundation and the one thing that I keep really seeing, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's that over like the apples of my cheeks, like right in that area, it's starting to almost look a little bit dry, like a little overly matte. And my hope is that, you know, as we go on throughout the day that the hyaluronic acid and, you know, those other more hydrating plumping elements, I'm kind of hoping that those come out a little bit more. As for today, I did set my face very, very lightly and I actually went in very light as well, like right in this area with blush. I didn't use a lot. I actually used this lunar palette right here and I just went in with these two little matte blushes, nothing too crazy, a very, very light amount because I really didn't want to, you know, do just that. I didn't want to over mattify or over powder that area. And so I, I think it looks good. I don't get me wrong. I just feel like that area right there does need to kind of loosen up a little bit. But with some foundations, it does take a little bit longer to get like the oils and the warmth from my skin to warm up with the foundation. And, and I haven't really been wearing this that long either. It's only been maybe a half hour at this point. And in terms of the other makeup I'm wearing on my face, just as a brief overview, I have on the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Bronzer. This is in the shade medium and the Hourglass Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. And then these are also both what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Just a very simple look. And then to go along with those also on the eyes, this is something that I included on my Instagram unboxing the other day. Um, these are two eyeliners. They're both from the NYX Epic Wear Liner Collection. And the one on the upper waterline I have in Deepest Brown. And then the blue on the lower waterline is Turquoise Storm. So those are both of the eyeliners. And then I'm also testing from Urban Decay. This is their new Lash Freak Mascara. We'll probably talk about this in another video, but that is the mascara that I am wearing by itself on my lashes. Then for brows, I went in with the Rare Beauty Brow Harmony in Rich Taupe, um, both for the pencil and for the gel, which if you didn't just see it, I put up a full review of Rare Beauty, which I will link right up here. And then for lips, I'm wearing the shade Thankful in the Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm. But other than that, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead, run off of camera, do my day, and I will stop back on here at the end. And uh, we'll go over final thoughts, how it wore, and all the good things. So hang tight, and I will be right back. And all right, beautiful people, with that, I am back. It is officially the end of the day, and I have been wearing this makeup on my face now for just over 10, 10 and a half-ish hours, right in that range. And I'm just gonna give it to you straight, okay? I, I just, I do not like this foundation. So because of that, this wrap-up is gonna be fairly brief. You know, I'm still gonna give you guys the up close and do all the things, but I just wanted you to know going into it, um, for, for me, this foundation is just, it's really not the jam. And I'm gonna go ahead now, we're gonna throw up the up close, we can talk about it. And I think for you guys to be looking at the up close, I mean, you can you can pretty much tell why I don't love this. Uh, but let's go ahead, we can kind of start talking through a couple of things I had, like my own issues here. Um, number one, the sloughage on the nose, you guys. <laughs> like all over the nose, the side of the nose, the whole nozzle situation, okay? It was just not my jam, it didn't work out. Um, even down into like the upper lip, it's just so, almost like crackly weird looking right there. But at the same time, even though it looks like it's dried and caked to my face, it's still unbelievably transfery and slippy and slidey. So for me, that's like the main reason, okay? That's reason number one as to like my list of grievances here. Um, just like that overall sloughage factor, not a fan. So that's number one. Number two, I'm really not a fan of like the thick cakey look that it had on my skin. And that is something that it had all day long that I kept kind of hoping, like I told you guys, you know, maybe it'll go away, maybe it'll melt into the skin. And I was wrong on every level, okay? Nothing like that happened. So with this foundation, you know, not only does it kind of slough and move around a lot, but then you also get like this really just like over 
overly cakey kind of makeup-y look on the skin, and for me, that was just a huge, huge, huge miss as well. So number two there, something about, I just, guys, I just got to look, look at my hair in the viewfinder here. <laughs> it's really windy outside, and I didn't realize this is what I looked like until just now. <laughs> Hello, I'm a supermodel. What's going on? Sometimes I get caught off guard by, by this whole hair situation because, like, bitch, I don't even know what she's doing half the time. It's like a whole moment. We've got a vibe going on, and today that vibe is definitely <laughs> mullet city, sweetheart, because we got a little rat tail. We got the whole thing. It's looking very 80s in here. I don't don't quite know how to handle it. But anyways, like I said, go, going from sloughage, uh, which is kind of my, my biggest issue, do not like the consistency of this, even in the slightest. I don't like that it's so thick and so sticky. Ugh, not a fan. Like I said before, you know, when I was talking about it this morning, I had hopes that with this foundation, it would kind of like press itself into the skin because I have had like a thicker, more, more sticky foundation. I have had it work and it really works by them like reacting to my natural oil and to like my temperature as a whole. And the two of them just kind of, you know, coming together, pressing everything in. And even if it does have that thicker consistency, it doesn't look heavy on the skin. But uh, <laughs> with this foundation, it looks very heavy on the skin. And for anybody that's seen my foundation reviews, at this point, I usually like to go through and, you know, kind of tell you this is what I would change or tweak. Maybe I would mix the foundations. And I kind of give you guys like me looking forward, like how I would reinvent this foundation to work better for me. And with this foundation, you guys, I, I think the biggest tell is that I wouldn't <laughs> reinvent it because there is not really anything about this that I really enjoy. Like, I don't love the texture. I don't like the finish. I don't like the way it sits on the skin. I don't like the way it wears. I don't really care about the coverage. Like, it's good, but it's not groundbreaking. And I really, like, if this didn't exist <laughs> in my in my foundation repertoire, as it were, um, I just, I would never miss it. Like, it's just not something that stands out to me in a good way for me or my skin um, or for how I wear my makeup. Oh my God. Oh, my nose is starting to itch so bad. Blah, blah, blah. You guys, <laughs> this foundation is just not for me, okay? So at this point, you guys, I'm gonna be done because my face really, really itches and I'm about ready to like claw my uh, my foundation off with like Bobcat style, just like <clears throat> So I am gonna be done. I hope that you guys like this video. Let me know all of your thoughts down below, whether you were curious about this, you like foundation reviews. I know a lot of you have been digging all of them lately. So just give me all of your thoughts and opinions, of course, down in the comments. And like I said this morning, if you haven't done so yet, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications before you leave. And of course, of course, of course, course be sure to follow me over on instagram i would greatly appreciate it and with that you guys that is everything thank you all so so much for watching please don't forget to have an amazing day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs> this foundation feels heavier than my plated and all you can eat buffet <laughs> that is such a good joke but also my plate well my plate is heavy because bitch it's usually a bowl and that bowl is full of ice cream ice cream with all the toppings Oh my God, I miss buffet ice cream, huh? Dude, I just, oh my God, buffets. Oh my God, a thing of the past, bitch. Oh, so God. Maybe I'll just braid my little rat tail. Just, you know, what are you doing? I'm just hanging out with my, my rat tail later. You wanna, you wanna join?